So guys, good morning. Uh, welcome back to JM Farming. If you're new around here, my name is Josh. Uh, I work here at Northwick. We have beef, sheep, and a little bit of arable. Uh, I'm currently in what's known as our dairy shed. Um, we've just started carving, or we're just in the early stages of carving here. Uh, there's two cows here that carved um, last night. The two cows there and the calves are snuggled up together somewhere against the wall. There they are. Right at the back. So it's currently about 10 o'clock at night. Um, just come in to do the evening check here uh, on the cows. So one of us on the farm team always comes in last thing at night just to check that there's nothing that needs any assistance or anything. Um, there's always someone else watching on the camera, which is up there. We'll sort of um, keep an eye on the camera through the night as well. Uh, and Mel that works in the office here, I think she watches it 24-7. But um, so I've just come in, all seems fairly quiet. So this here is the heifers. So none of these have had calves before, just all their first time carving. So these are the ones you sort of keep the most of an eye on, um, just because obviously they've never had a calf. You never quite know how they're gonna to react to a calf when they do have one. Um, and if, if any of them are gonna need assistance, these are the guys that are more than likely to need it. But um, with the stabilizer <coughs> breed, which these all are, um, Hopefully they all chuck out quite little small calves and they don't need any assistance. So I've done a little lap around the shed and it all looks fairly quiet here at the minute. I'll go and check the other shed a minute where we've got some cows and calves that have calved for about a week or so. To go and check them, make sure they're all right. And come back up here before I go home and check them again. So if you want to see more of what's going on here, um, make sure you are subscribed. Hit the bell so you're always notified when new videos go up on Wednesdays and Sundays. And uh, there's nothing else going on. We'll take you into tomorrow morning. Right guys, it is the next morning. We have had a calf overnight, so we'll go and see that in a minute. Uh, we're just in the grain store here, pushing all the cattle cake to one side. We've got a load of sheep cake coming. So the plan is we're gonna put straw bales in the middle, the sheep stuff on the other side. So John's on the little forklift, just getting rid of these pallets because he can't get in the corners with the handler. Um, and then we'll bring up some bales, make a bit of a divide and then put the cake the other side. Um, Alice's pots need to go somewhere as well. But uh, got a bag of distillers on here. That needs to go back inside because that'll get ruined outside. Right, we've now made a divide in the pit. So, cow cake, sheep cake. We will put some signs up just because if you feed cow cake to sheep, um, it's got copper in it, which is no good for sheep at all. So, um, we'll put some signs either side just in case it's not me, John, or Craig feeding so people know what's what. Stuff not actually here yet, so I'm going to crack on with some feeding. And then uh, when it's here, we'll move it in and uh, we'll go and see the new calf and see what else we've got on today. Right, so I'm almost finished feeding for the morning. Got the last mix in the wagon now and then we'll start moving this. So this is the sheep nuts. See, they're a bit bigger nut than the um, cattle ones, but they do look very similar. So we'll make sure we label the base because sheep don't want cattle minerals because they've got uh, copper in and sheep and copper don't mix. So uh, feed that out. Move that. Right, I've just come down to our beef shed to feed the calves. Um, down here we keep all of our heifers that we're gonna breed from this year. We've also got cows that are later carbon than the ones in the top shed. Keep all the close ones up there and the later ones down here. Or so we thought, because overnight we've had a new addition down here. A really pretty speckly calf in there, so we'll go and have a look at those or her in a minute. So what we do is once we've got some calves at the top shed, <coughs> we bring them down into these pens. So there's five cows and their calves in here. They all look quite happy. And, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll take some back up. But uh, this one sort of caught us out a bit. Now, last night when I was in checking, I do come down here and check these as well, just in case anything like this happens. But um, it was all all right last night. But as you see this cow, she's got like short horn markings on her belly and on her legs. She's really, Nice cow, she's a good temperament as well, she's a good mother. But look at this guy, what a calf. Hello. And I believe it is a little heifer calf. So hopefully that one will join our breeding herd. But yeah, she had it on her own, he was up and sucking, so doing really well. So she will, well she'll probably stay down here now. The calf needs to be tagged and weighed, but um, no point taking it up to the top shed to bring it back down again. Also, whilst I'm thinking about it, 
John's told me I need to do a special shout out to some new followers of the channel. So Alan and Maxine, thank you very much for watching the videos. Uh, John loves you very much and he can't wait to see you soon. But uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Had a fault code come up on the handler this morning. Or well, it was actually yesterday afternoon. Uh, if I go into the fault, it just gives you a little code there. So I rang Simmons, our Manitou dealer, and gave him the code. And they said it's something to do with tire or your steering presser, steering pressure switch. The steering all seems fine, so um, they're going to send out a new switch or send someone out to fit a new switch. All under warranty, I believe. There we have it, 13 tons of sheep creep, one side, nice bale division, and then what's left of the cattle creep that side, uh, that is going back pretty fast. The calves and some smaller heifers are getting that. I need to ask Bruce uh, which group of sheep want that and how much they need a day. We've also got a bag of wheat distillers there. Uh, we just had a delivery up at the main part of the um, manor house, so we need to go and get that. I think it's the new cow brushes that Phil's ordered. So we'll uh, put the forks on and go and pick up that. Package acquired. Take this one back to the farm quick. So I just picked up the paperwork <laughs> off the pallet of brushes here that Phil ordered yesterday. And uh, look what he's put as the name on the billing address. Now, bear in mind, this guy was running an agricultural college about 18 months ago. Professor Dicker Bowman. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Sticking up these signs. Got ourselves some gorilla tape. So if they come off of here, I shall be asking Sue Gray to induct a formal inquiry. Whether people will decide to read it or not, I don't know, but go put the sheep one up on that other post over there. All right, there we have it. Sheep, cattle. Uh, I'm going to show you these brushes a minute. <coughs> this is the top piece of these brushes. We have another side piece uh, that comes down here that we want to attach to a gate. Um, the only annoying thing is they don't come with any way of attaching them. They have a little plate on the back, similar to this one. Uh, with two holes in um, then you either need to supply your own u-bolt to clamp it to a gate or make another little plate like that to put in between to grab it so uh, we got one in the pioneer and what we'll do is we'll take that down um, to the beef shed and offer it up and see if we can just drill straight into the gate because uh, that'd be the easiest thing to do um, but Craig's gone off in the pioneer so for the time being I'm gonna shut that and we will go and see what Professor Dicker Bowman's doing as he's now known. Hello there Count. How are you? Nice little bull calf. Protective mother. Hey Gabby. He's having a snooze. Yes. He's what's known as a bit motherly. Bit motherly. Seems alright now, hold Have a I thought I'd come congratulate you on completing your PhD, since you're now a... Oh yeah! It's, it's oh no, that's something else, isn't it? That's doctor. You're a professor. I'm a professor? Well, your dad's a professor. Dad's a professor. I think, so he's, an on, I think he's an honorary professor. Not a real one. Oh. <coughs> but yeah, Same as me, then, really. Professor Dicker Bowman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you might live to regret that. I'm not sure how that's going to get through the accounting system at Harfenden, but... 
But uh, John's making a carving crush type thing. We're making a whole one, one. This is all going to be filled in with gates, basically. So you can trap a cow if you need to carve them, because yeah. the, the John Bowman permanent erection hasn't got a headlock anywhere. What I'm building, <coughs> I'm hopefully not going to use. Yes, so this should all hopefully be a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. But if you haven't got it, can't use it. But it was only redundant because it sat there, didn't it? Yeah. It was sat in that gap, which we don't use that pen, so. Yeah. Might as well use it here. Well, I was going to use one of the headlockers from the pens that were there previously. Yes. But they lack one very important thing. Did they go the wrong way? No. <laughs> they stopped, the bottom of that stopped there. Ah. And if they go down. Yes. That's why these are lower. Yeah, I see. You can't don't strangle end, themselves. Don't end them yes. I keep thinking that black heifer's going to carve, but she... Ooh. We thought she was going to carve. The other day she was... One happy. of the first ones, but... Yeah. We've had two heifers since then, so... She will seem quite happy. She won't be long. No. I'm rather hoping... That one walking towards us now in the middle pen. Yes. So is that... She'll carve soon. Is that 12.01? Yeah. Polyp. But well, then saying that, none of the ones, like the one that they carved last night, didn't show any signs of carving. Until there, were, after carving. there were others here that you think would have carved before. Yes. Yeah. But anyway. So there's one of these a heifer. Is that? Uh, yeah, the one of She's a heifer. That's a cow. And their calves are getting well acquainted down there. So, cow, you have a clean. Oh. Loud noises. Hello! <laughs> Do you find it? Yeah. We're lopping off those hangings there They're on the floor and John's going to put a plate across here weld them on there so we have a gate going across there to that gate There'll be a gate going from where that red splodge is on the ground there, uh, that way. And then there'll be a gate um, going on these hangings here as well. So that you can bring a cow into this from any direction and uh, get her in there if you need to. So if they come from that way, you can have gate across here, gate across here, um, and let her in. Uh, same as if you come this way, you could have that one stopped off. Get her in, shut the gate behind her. I never said last night when I was here, um, sort of what happens when a cow calves. So if one had calved last night whilst I was here on my own, generally speaking, we just leave them in the pens um, if they're all right. At the weekend, we had a heifer calve in here, had the first heifer calve, um, and I was here with Abby. And because heifers have never seen calves, they all just mobbed it. Um, and even the mother was a bit you know, confused as to what was going on. So uh, because Abby was here with me, I decided that it was better to remove the calf from that big pen and put it in a single one so the mother could you know, mother it on her own and not have to worry about 20 other heifers uh, mobbing it. But um, all the other ones we've had, especially with the cows, the cows are a bit more used to it. Um, they have their calves as long as they get up and they suck um, and we don't need to interfere, uh, generally speaking we don't. So these two here, well they've all calved on their own so far. Um, these two, they carved, one was yesterday morning when we turned up, one was the night before. That one over there, that carved uh, in the night after I left, before we got here this morning. Uh, again, all on its own. And before we go home tonight, that calf will come in here, just save having to feed it in there. Again, when you're on your own, they can feed over there. And uh, yeah, just makes life a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Well, this is the first time I'll say this. It's yeah. bigger than I thought. <laughs> is this plan B? Yeah. Bolt him to the ground. Because that concrete's about 18 inches thick. <laughs> John's trying to drill a hole out. I can't remember, did we make those? 
That one on the bottom? With the plate on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought if you cut that... Because that was to hold a timber, wasn't it? Yes. That little U bit, all that. You right cut that bit. off. And you just bolt it to the ground. And there's, yeah. <laughs> no, there's a hole there to bolt it to. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure those holes will match up. Oh, no, that's right, I'll just kick it back in. That's, just, that's, good. that's good enough, surely. But there's a gap there anyway because the run of the floor. Oh, yeah, so you put that in underneath. underneath. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, we made those when we converted the old beef shed handling pens, I think, didn't we? Yes. Only for uh, a proper building company to come and do a better job. I have never said that. <laughs> I think what we did was... <laughs> Far superior. Yeah. Do you want those hanging saved or are you putting new ones on? Uh, I want those hangings for this post here because that gate is going to go on it. Okay, that's fine. But what you could do is tidy that up. Yeah. The car might come in and go... Um, okay. Sharp. Tidy that up. Yeah. I was just explaining the uh, carving protocol. As in what we do and what we don't do. As in, yeah, try not to go in there unless there's two of us here. Yeah. Unless you have to. And if the calf's all right, mm. leave it till the morning. Just leave it, yeah. But I was yeah. saying there's always someone watching the camera, generally speaking, when we're here yeah. at night. Because so. if one kills you, you'll regret it the next Yeah, time. you'll be dead for the rest of the time. You're really annoyed. <laughs> yeah. And these things, these are for wild cows, aren't they? Or yes. Is that the best way to describe them? Yeah. Ones with a temper? to be careful of so if we have a cow in a pen that's been a bit nasty or a bit bit too good a mother you stick a red thing on the gate so that you know yeah. you know not to go near it and there's one cow up there with a green collar she's twins is she yes so that identifies her as twins but there are others with twins he <laughs> just didn't remember to put the gun i only remembered <laughs> towards the end of bolus in the cows <laughs> that oh i could probably do the collars at the same time <laughs> Right, it's got to that time of day where I need to go and feed the calves down the bottom, so <coughs> just having one little glance over, making sure nothing's in the middle of carving, which they all look like they're happy. John's let that cow in with the other two. Um, they're doing what all cows do, even though they live together all year round, separating for five minutes and they've got to have a scrap when you put them back together. Right guys, I've just fed the calves down here in the beef shed, just about getting ready to go home. Cows and calves are doing alright that side. Cow and calf are doing alright that side. You were skipping around the pen just now. Loving life. Uh, me and Craig have just fitted one of 16 brushes that we have to fit. So we've uh, put this one here on the gate. So there'll be one in every pen in this shed, so all the way down there. All the way down there. Every pen will have a brush. I was hoping these guys were going to be playing with it, but um, these are the slightly lighter heifers that we want to feed up a bit, get them up to bullying weight. So I'm sure when they finish their bit of cake that they've got in front of them now, they'll realise it's there and have a play. But that's going to be about it, guys, for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you're new and you like the videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Um, if you want to see any more of what's going on on a daily basis, uh, you can follow my Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. That'll all be on the bottom of the screen now. The links are also in the description, along with a link to merchandise. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys in another video very soon. Cheerio.